What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we're going to open up the brand new Big Collectibles monthly subscription crate for July 2022. So yes, yeah, just like the other crates, we have the newest one right here that includes the newest stuff for this month. So, I'm sure this one's going to be pretty good. What what came out this month? We had the, the water set, I think, would be mainly part of this, and... Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, the next one I know will be really good, too, because we're starting to get into that, you know, towards the end of the year, where we're getting close to Mega Tins, um, the new Battles of Legend, uh, a lot of different stuff. Mavens, that's kind of Magnificent Mavens, I think it's full name. Uh, a lot of stuff. Power of the Elements, even, is like the next set. So I guess that would be even next month as well. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in this one. Also, too, this is from Being Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. I do have a coupon code with them and all that, too. And let's get to it. Going old school with this. <laughs> have my other knife with me. Alright, so first off we have a mystery pack. We'll see what's in that here in a second. And, oh, Dimension Force. Well, that's cool. We got a couple of Dimension Force packs. A couple of Ghosts from the past. Man, imagine if I get a Ghost Rip from that. That'd be awesome. Uh, one of the uh, 2021 Mega Packs. Also good, and then uh, some of the Legendary Duels, uh, Duels from the Deep. So, we actually got a really good assortment here. Look at all this. That is not bad at all. I wonder what's in the Mystery Pack, too, but just look at all those. That's pretty good. I'm glad it's not just, you know, the Duelist Pack, because this one, there's some cool stuff in it, don't get me wrong, but it's not It's not one of the better Duelist Packs. I feel like the last two have kind of been, eh, I don't know. Like, it... I like the shark support, at least. I know my friend's really interested in the marine stuff, but there hadn't been anything I'm, like, really dying to get yet. Like, maybe the next one I feel different about with the new, like, power tool dragon and all that. We'll see. Wait, what's in the mystery pack? Oh, more Legendary Duelists, actually. Uh, Synchro Storm. That's a previous one. Again, I kind of like this one, too. I mean, I like how they have ghost rares in them, but... I don't know. They just need something. Maybe, like, I'm hoping once we get the fire one, it's going to be a Volcanics. I think I'll be more excited then because I want Volcanic support. And, and maybe if it's, like, an archetype that I'm really into, that will get me. But I guess it's up to opinion. So let me know if you guys agree or disagree on that. Maybe maybe you love Speedroids or Marine Sis, for example, and you're just as happy with what we got already. So let me know. Cool pen of Goldos. Yeah, if we got new Gustos, I think I would have been happier on this set. <laughs> Tornado Dragon's pretty good, though. And we got, uh, let's see, Phantom uh, Feathers. Oh, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out my link with TCG Player. It also helps support the channel. You click on that link, buy anything from TCG Player. <laughs> click on that link, buy anything from TCG Player. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got so tongue-tied. Uh, and then it helps support the channel. Evidently, I need it, because I need to get some speaking lessons, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. We got an Ultra Rare from it, though. You know, if I can't speak, I get an Ultra Rare. We get a Celestine a Wagtail. Wow. I like... That was a mini stroke, I swear. <laughs> and then we got Kite Drake. Whew. It's been a long day. I'm not going to go over what, you know. Maybe one day I'll talk about it, but it's been a long couple of days lately, and whew, evidently I need sleep. <laughs> I did stay up late playing Sea of Thieves. Tornado Dragon... More lyrics, and yeah, then we have, uh, let's see, uh, Pennant of Revolution. Yeah, lately I've gotten back in the Sea of Thieves. I've been playing it on PC. If any of you guys play it, let me know. It's been pretty fun. Uh, my wife and I, and then one of my friends and his wife have all been playing. So, if we get more people like doing Alliance, that'd be really fun. But, I don't know why, it's just lately we got into it. That game finally has a lot of stuff in it. It's kind of fun to be a pirate. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying myself, really. And it's kind of calming, too. Until you get attacked by a Kraken. We have Liebermancer Realized. I'm trying to do more things that kind of relax me a little bit these days because stress levels are too much. We got to live past 40. So, <laughs> need to take care of myself. Uh, we have Lord of Eight Thunders. Another super rare. Come on, let's get a Starlight. I need to get a starlight so someone will say this whole thing was fixed. Come on. <laughs> no, seriously, I want a starlight from this set. I haven't gotten one for myself. Oh. Oh, the heroic champion, uh, Clav Solish. I like that card. I kind of like the heroic champion stuff. And I guess the last pack for the mention force. Breta plants. And... Oh, there we go, uh, Theoron Disc Coliseum. I think that's kind of pricey still, so that's actually really good. That might pay for a lot of stuff right there. 
Not bad. Or last time I checked, it was kind of pricey. Maybe I'll include the prices again. I've been kind of wanting to do that. Although for, I will admit, Legendary Duelist, there's not anything too pricey, so... <laughs> I'll just probably do it for anything over five bucks or something. Alright, let's get a Ghost Rare. Yang Zing Brutality, Dark Contract Gate. We have Chaos Griffer, which I don't think I got too many of those, honestly. Then, uh, Fossil Machine and Shadow Vampire. Yeah, even after opening a case. I don't remember getting too many of Griffer, so... That could be good. It's kind of like with the Tinny, uh, the Water Tinny monster. It's an Ultra in that, of course. I don't think it's supposed to be that tough to get, but I only got, like, a couple. <laughs> so, that's what I was like, really? Just so random. Cupid Pitch. Box of Friends, and number uh, 97. Oh, cool. Uh, Draglubian. That's actually pretty cool, too. I don't remember too many of that either, now that I see it. Yazzie and uh, Trek Black. Eh, at least with that set, too, even if you don't get a Ghost Rider, I do feel like there's a lot of good reprints. Way better than the last one. First Ghost from the Past was... For me, after I got my Dragoonities, I was, like, done with the set, unfortunately. Because, man, the Ghost Rares were tough to get anyway. What we get from this? We're guaranteed hollows, of course. I'm really looking forward to the next one. Drytron Delta uh, Atlet Atlantis. Then uh, Perform Pal Turn Trooper. Win the uh, Wind Chandler, which is actually pretty good. I like that one. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon and King Beast Barbaros and Spiral Fusion. Oh, there you go. Melfi Rabbi. That makes it better. <laughs> but yeah, this Mega 10, I still say the one that we had uh, last year was kind of okay, but it was like, you only really wanted spell cards, I felt like, from, and Zeus. That was about it, really. Um, I feel like this next one's gonna really be better, because we're supposed to get, I think, Ash Blossom, Dragoon has been confirmed now. A lot of reprints, I believe, so. I don't remember all the ones they announced, but there's supposed to be a lot. I think even Lightning Storm was one of them. And then, of course, we're getting other reprints we probably need, so. I'm looking forward to that one. That might be worth getting a couple of cases of, honestly. Just telling you guys, you might want to look into that, because usually a case of Mega 10 is really isn't that pricey. It's like 150 in most cases. Huh. <laughs> anyway, we have a um, Marine Coral. Uh, nothing else. I'll put them over there. We still have two packs left. Come on. Let's end with something. Let's get the Ghost Rare then, I guess. I actually wouldn't mind another of the Marine Cess spell card. One of my friends needs it. Kiryu Shin's A Dark Reef. Oh. And... Last pack. Can we at least end with a hollow? Give me that energy. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Ring the bell. Maybe that'll help me out. I, I kind of need the energy, honestly, anyway, as you can tell from how I've been speaking in this video. So we'll see what happens. Part of the cards. Let's end with a hollow. Oh, we got the seven eternity. Does that mean we might have something? No. Nah. Oh, well. I was hoping since the rare was in a little bit of a weird spot, that might mean something. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't really have the best luck. I mean, a good assortment of packs, but our luck was kind of meh, I gotta say. Maybe I'm saving for Power of the Elements, which I don't really mind, because, again, Splites and Heroes. I, I really am looking forward to that set, for sure. So, <laughs> let me know what you guys think, and uh, what you think of this uh, crate and everything. I honestly, even though they are a sponsor of me, Big Collectibles... I honestly do think these crates are worth picking up, especially when you kind of know what's coming out soon. It's a really good deal. Like, I'm sure in the next one you'll get, like, basically half a box prior to the elements, because that's usually how it goes when a new main set comes out. And we're getting close to, was it, uh, Tactical Masters. And, again, the, towards the end of this year, I feel like every month has, like, multiple things to spend your money on Yu-Gi-Oh! West. So it's, it's going to get a little chaotic on that. But uh, these boxes are definitely going to be worth getting, I think, like, all this year. So, just saying. That's my honest opinion. But, again... Thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.